Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is an LSM9DS1 module from Adafruit. This is a three-axis accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer sensor, and we're going to use this as part of Project QuickShot, but before we get started with that, I need to actually set it up and test it with the Arduino IDE. So that's what we're gonna do right now. This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. So before we even get started with this thing, I need to install a couple of libraries for the Arduino IDE. So uh, to start, uh, we need to grab the LSM9DS1 library from the Adafruit GitHub. So we'll just download that. Okay. That's going down. We also need the Adafruit sensor library. So we will also get that as well. Okay. Now that they're both downloaded, pop over here to the downloads folder, unzip each of those zip files. I like to rename them so they're not like master, you know, because they're not masters at this point, whatever, I don't know. Anyway, take both of those and we'll just put them over here in the Adafruit libraries folder, which on a Mac is, uh, Home, Documents, Arduino, Libraries. So that's there. We can close that. And then uh, we'll load up our Arduino IDE environment. Okay, now we've got our environment loaded. We're going to open the example library. There's only one included with this one. And essentially what we've got here is um, got a couple of definitions and libraries to include, of course, uh, defining our pins for the I square C interface, uh, then just zeroing out the accelerometer, the magnetometer and the gyroscope. Um, right here, this section is uh, initializing the serial display uh, so we'll get all that out. And then, you know, the, the example, all it does is just, uh, it just reads out the, the raw data from the gyroscopes. So we're gonna get this assembled. We're gonna get this wired up on the breadboard and put this thing over onto the Arduino and we'll see if it actually works. So we'll start with our, our little feather board here that we're gonna be using for the project. and. Put it right here along the, um, the central line, the dividing line there. It's always fun to try to fit into these um, breadboards, you know, because you solder one pin just slightly off or something like that. I just don't like going in there. It goes, there it is. Okay, there's that. And then we have our module. Uh, which we'll be using this side of the module. This is where the uh, I square C and actually the um, SDA uh, or the S SPI interface, SPI interface. Yes, SPI interface is redundant. I know it's serial peripheral interface, but whatever, it's easier to say SPI interface instead of the SPI. Anyway, oh, get in there. There we go. All right, this is a pretty simple wiring job. Let me try this with the right colors here. Um, we're just gonna go from our three volt out on the feather board to V in. This, uh, this little board will take either three volt or five volt, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. It's got a regulator on there, so it makes it very versatile. It's kind of nice. Um, and then ground to ground over here on the board. And then um, 
Oh, I need to move that down a little bit. That was my problem. All right, now you're in there. And let's see. So, three volts and ground are connected. Then over here on the top, we have the clock line SCL as well. Uh, and that goes right over here to SCL on the module. And then the data line SDA, that just goes right over to SDA on the module. So very, very simple wiring job right here. So let's get the Arduino programmed and then we shall see if it works. Okay, so we have our sketch loaded. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the module there. Now we've got our board selected, the Feather 32U4, and the programmer, everything is ready to go, and we just upload it. Looks like everything is done. Open up our serial monitor. We're at 115200 baud. And there we go, we have an output. So if we just start moving it around, look at that. You can see how these numbers will change as we kind of move things around. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Look at that. Woohoo! It's like that old NASA training device, right? So, anyway, so we have pitch, we've got roll, and Z axis is our yaw. And that's really all there is to it. So, this guy is ready to go. Um, we're going to be putting him into Project Quick Shot, and you'll see more of that coming soon. So, in the meantime, if you are, uh, if you want to learn more about electronics, basic electronics, advanced electronics, watching builds, all that fun stuff, go ahead and click the subscribe button, which is right down here. Just above, you'll see all the social media where you can find me. Uh, over here is the rest of the playlist for this complete build. And then down here is the newsletter. You'll get a lot more information, a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff, a lot of uh, uh, more in-depth uh, tutorials and things like that on my website as well. Uh, my name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.